All right, hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop. This is part three of our uh, town sign milling and fabrication. This is now the 2.5 dimensional engraving that we have been discussing. All right, we have run both of the backs that were strictly a 2D engraving. Everything that we did on the two dimensional engraving is very applicable to the fascia. Uh, I told you, screw your fascias down, take your spoiler board bit after you've done your physical spoiler board itself to make sure everything is universally flat. Take your, uh, take that whatever size spoiler board bit you have, do the back side, retract your gantry, get it out of the way, flip the material, and then clear your face off with that spoiler board bit. If you put your face down, I'm sorry, if you put your face up, and you mill it first, then you flip it, you do your back, well then you've got to turn around and flip the face back up again. So if you mill, uh, if you do your cleaning with your face down on the first step, it just saves you a flip. It's one less time you've got to handle the material, okay? Well, we've got our, uh, we've got our fascia side up. Now the one thing I did do, and I told you, uh, we, took the, we took the bevel out. The bevel was too close to the edge. You saw it in the previous video doing the two-dimensional engraving. How close? our quarter inch end mill was on our cutout. It was, it was extremely too close to the edge. The bevel would have, nothing in my opinion, would have come out right. So we did away with the bevel altogether. Now, we are getting ready to pocket this out. I did run a 90 degree V bit really light, that 5 thousandths again, and then I marked it up with a pencil. I just want to see where everything currently sits, okay? I'm in agreement with it. It lines up just like the, because uh, again, this is basically the back, but it's being done at a 2.5 so that we can have raised letters. Plus, we've also got a scene over here in the corner. Now, the bulk of the hogging out will be done with a half inch uh, brand new end mill that we've got. We're going to run this probably right around 200 IPM. I know I can go faster, but... Uh, to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous. This is a big job, so. And last but not least, I told you these this, these faces, just like the back sides, uh, the two-dimensional backs, they have to be screwed from under the table. Well, this is just a uh, this is a button head cap screw. It's one of the Craig uh, Craig screws for the Craig jig system. I place it about where it would be on top of the yellow frame. It goes up through the factory spoiler board, through my spoiler board, and then into the material itself. I made a mark. I measured it. I've got over 400 thousandths. What I did was I wanted to space it out a little bit lower. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get that bit down a little more, so I put a 140 thousandths washer uh, on top of it. It's going to pull it down another eighth of an inch. Now I've got, from the top of the surface, down to the tip of the screw, I've got like almost 600,000. So I'm not worried about hitting, but I did, I basically, I did a, a lazy man shim, if you would, with a washer, that's all, to shim that screw down. We were gonna go 375 thousandths on our, our hogging out of our tool path. I wanted it more than a quarter. I may not need it three eighths. I think we're gonna split the gap. We're gonna go like 312 thousandths. We'll go five sixteenths on our raised letters. All right, but, Basically, that's going to be the intro uh, for the 2.5 dimensional engraving. All right, same rules apply as the 2D engraving, but we're making raised letters that will stand out. Uh, that will stand out better on this side, I believe. Okay, everybody, stay tuned. We'll throw a little footage in, and we'll discuss when we get into the uh, the actual engraving over here on the uh, bottom left corner. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you stay tuned. We have more to come.
All right, hey everybody, we're back. Well, we ended up dropping that half inch uh, two fluted end mill in. We used that, like I told you, and we had hogged out, as you saw in the, the little segment of video there, we hogged out the center of this really nice. Now, I told you that there was, in fact, a small seam going in the bottom left hand corner right here, and I don't know how well you can see it. We ended up putting in, uh, I put in two circles. Uh, 13 on the exterior, 12 on the interior. Basically, off this side of the scene were 300 thousandths. That was the other thing. We changed our cut depth around. No way did I need to go 375 thousandths. We ended up going uh, 300 thousandths, so we're just a little under 5 sixteenths. These have got plenty of height. I think this will look really good. Uh, the one thing I will say, is after we hog this out, we did have a small pocket to do here. So to save uh, a tool bit change, I ended up just going from the pocket uh, around all the lettering for the 2.5 dimensional engrave, and I just brought it over here and I pocketed this out. Now the center of this, I went down 125 thousandths. What it ended up doing was it gave me a nice rim all the way around the circle here so that when I go to put the yellow on all the raised letters, come, come time we start finishing, uh, I'll be able to put a nice yellow around this border as well. And we know that our, uh, our border around our frame is two inches and it's going to be green to match the physical sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the gantry back in, I'm going to retouch top, and we're going to go in and we're going to clean up all the letters. I'm probably not going to get to cutting this out today. Because I told you, when I get ready to cut this out, I'm immediately going to start assembly of the first one, okay? In the meantime, hey, I'm finally getting around to doing my garden bench for the shop. So we'll show you that when it's all said and done. It's over on the uh, over in the corner. We're putting spar urethane to it today, all right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you hang on. As always, thank you for your support. Thank you for following us, of course. And uh, we have more to come. We'll give you probably another little video clip of the... Uh, the lettering getting uh, getting cleaned up with the 60 degree V bit, and we'll go in and we'll talk a little bit about the scene when we get to that. All right, but you hang on. We'll be right back. This is Steve, welcome. We are back. Real quick, we finished up our fascia piece, okay? Before we go on to the assembly, we'll close off, uh, we'll close off the 2.5 dimensional engraving. My last words there uh, will be, basically we told you we had a small seam in this bottom left corner, just like there was on the original uh, town community welcome sign when we went out into the field to actually measure it up. When you're doing multiple pockets, this is where you kind of need to keep track of things. Now, when I pocketed out the primary sign, I went 300 thousandths uh, deep, roughly 5 sixteenths. We weren't going to go a full 3 eighths or 375 thousandths. I just didn't deem it necessary. The letters, which are this, uh, this the face is right here, it's upside down. Just make sure on your pockets, especially when we did the small interior one, we did a small 13 inch one, because I told you I wanted to create and have that nice bevel that went around that circle so I could put, uh, I could put it in yellow paint and it would be raised just like the lettering and the rest of the sign, okay? Make sure that when your bit, generally in V-Carve and the Win CNC control package, 
Uh, your factory settings tell you to pull your bit up on its z-axis return to a half an inch. Just double check that because if you're already working inside pockets, regardless of where you are, if your z-axis doesn't come up high enough, you can end up chipping the top of a uh, one of those nice raised letters. You can end up knocking uh, a chunk out of a rim. Same thing when we got to the, the actual physical engraving inside that scene. I told you make sure that you stay at least uh, a quarter of an inch away from all your edges because if you're too tight and the end mill has to go in, it's going to kind of hit the bank of that rim that we wanted to keep so pristine, which we did. But that was really, that was really the only thing. It mills out like any other two-dimensional or 2.5-dimensional you know, engraving. It just happens to be a really big one. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to let you go. We're going to hurry up. And we're going to start the assembly of this, okay? We'll go into uh, we'll go into the assembly video here in just a moment. But as always, if anybody has any questions, especially on the bigger signs, and don't mind me, it is allergy season right now. So yeah, I'm itching and my eyes are watering. I know, stop my whining, but uh, it, as always, if you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, please just shoot me an email, steve at littlewoodshop.com, and I will gladly get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? All right, everybody. Take care. Thank you for following us. And uh, we've got more to come. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.